Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make an egg roll. So let's start by slicing the bell pepper and we want to chop the bell pepper finely so that our roll won't be a chunky roll. Then we're going to blanch it for about a minute or less because we don't want the bell pepper to become soggy because we're still going to cook it later with the egg. While the bell pepper is blanching, we are going to slice our tomato and the same thing, we want to chop it finely so that our roll won't be a chunky roll. The chopped tomato goes into the bowl, so with the chopped onion. Blanching is done and we're gonna drain it and cool it down before we can mix it in the egg. Now we're gonna crack these eggs. I use 8 eggs for this. And we're gonna season this with salt and black pepper. I am using a Himalayan salt. Now the blanched bell pepper has cooled down and is ready to be added into the egg mixture. And I am also going to add chopped spring onion and parsley. That is all there is, we just have to mix and beat it well. Now it's the cooking time. We're just going to add a little bit of olive oil in the pan. It is important to note that the heat should be low to medium because we want to slow cook our egg. We don't want it to bubble or to boil right away when we pour it in the pan. So we are going to pour a little bit of egg mixture into the pan, just a thin layer. And we're going to cook it half done and then start rolling up to about 3 fourth way. Excuse me for my scraper, it's broken. <laughs> but it still can be used, so I'll keep it. And bring the roll to the vacant space of the pan and then pour the next egg mixture. Same process, cook halfway and then roll until you get your roll desired size. If you want a bigger roll, then keep doing the same process again and again. I also would like to tell you that you can use chopped carrots or a chopped mushrooms. So this is just another fun way of cooking eggs with vegetables other than the normal um, scrambled eggs with vegetables, right? If the roll rips, it's okay. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> I'm justifying my own action, eh? Because my roll is ripped. Oh no. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so the process is just like that. A repetitive process. Pour and rolling. Pour and rolling. <laughs> my first roll is done and we're going to transfer this into the board and cool down a little bit before we cut it. Now into our next batch. This time I'm going to use butter. Of course, you are going to do the same process until it's all done. Now it's time to cut or slice our rolls into an individual pieces. So this is ready for serving. But because I'm going to take this to a breakfast party we're going to, so I am going to put this in this container. And I also forgot to take an individual sliced picture of the roll at the party. I was distracted. But it was delicious. My friends love it. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> I cannot taste it because as you can see, it fits snugly in the container. Yeah, if I take one, then it's gonna be ugly looking thing. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoy the making of it. You can play around with it. You can put any anything that you wanna put. You can put cheese, bacon, ham, <laughs> quiche. It's gonna be like quiche. Okay, so goodbye for now and I hope that you like this video. Please give me some thumbs up and please subscribe before you go. Bye-bye.